uh, what is uh, what is the record it would take Riley to get fired in the next two years combined? Uh, okay, so first off, he's not getting fired. I mean, hell, even if he went, let's just let's be absurd and say he goes three and nine, three and nine back to back seasons. Do you know the size of the contract that Lincoln Riley has? And do you think that USC is going to pull the plug in two seasons and fire him? I, I just don't uh, know. If many he goes, programs. Oh. If he goes yeah, three and go nine twice, he's gone. <laughs> okay, who's going to pay the buyout, Matt? <laughs> they have to. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? I mean, USC's not USC's not a poverty program. They're not a poverty program, but they're not going to throw that kind of money right out the window. Well, first off, we're talking stupid because here's the thing: they're not going three and nine. So let's 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 get let's get that out the window. I still I I would I, mean, I would I don't think it's a do dumb deal. He has to do something like he can't he the bottom cannot fall out in the next two seasons. He will not be fired after this season, no matter what. Like we can be clear. We can agree on that for sure. But he cannot have two straight terrible seasons. And what would okay, we're so, going to play along with that? So let, Let's be realistic. Let's say Riley goes seven and five, seven and five over the next two seasons. Or he goes six and six and seven and five. Is he fired? Gone. Gone. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Can't, you can't do that. That's that's Helton. And I'm not talking oh, about know. one year. I'm talking about two. And you are. We are talking different money. We are talking now they're in the Big Ten and they have a lot more money. Well, it would be three years because they just went, they just had the seven and five season this year, the eight, eight and five after the bowl game. So that would be three straight seven and five ish seasons. Yeah. You know, and the more you say it to me, and also the fact is, is that they, you're starting in the Big Ten. And you're getting that Big Ten money. We're not we're not in a poverty conference anymore. So they do actually have some more money to play with. And you will see, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I think I think you're actually. I, I, matter of fact, the more I think about it, uh, you are right. I be, I, I'm thinking old school though. I'm thinking old school administrations at USC, and and I'm I'm thinking just the, the old um, revenue USC had. Yeah, you're right. I mean, okay, I, so but I hasten to say, I hasten to say, I think they're going to be nine and three this year. And I think they're probably going to contend for the playoff next year. That's what I think is going to happen. But just if we're we're answering Matthew Miller's question here, what re, what's the record if he, we have two more seven and five seasons? Absolutely gone after twenty twenty five. Yeah, no doubt I, I, in my I, did, mind. I didn't think about the fact that we had last year with the five year uh, with the five loss season. That would be this would be not two years. It'd be three straight years of getting just playing subpar ball. And the fact I, I forgot about the revenue stream that USC has now. You just you just cannot continue to beat the bottom of the barrel. That would be, yeah. That would be yeah. That so that would be pretty. Riley, bad. But, if Riley has a seven and five season this year, that puts him on the hot seat next year, and next year he would need to coach his way off the hot seat in twenty twenty five. Okay, yeah, uh, fully agree with you. And I, you know, quite frankly, I think Lincoln Riley would have to agree with that. I mean, you you have you have three years, and 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 you're going in the wrong direction. Uh, a fourth year in the wrong direction would be walking papers. But again, that's not happening. I mean, you guys can all dream, but uh, you know that, that's yeah. We don't uh, think it'll happen, but if it did, yeah. And who is my who is my favorite new matchup? Without a doubt, it's Michigan. I I, I just I have a lot of respect for the the Michigan program. I come from Michigan. You know, my family's from Michigan, so that's a little bit of a bias. But uh, just just the tradition uh, of Michigan, uh, I think that that's going to be. Um, just something really special. We even kind of played with the idea that it might even kind of turn into some kind of, I know it's never going to be, it can't ever be just because of the proximity of the Ohio state, Michigan battles, you know, that border, that border war you guys love to have, but I could absolutely see with just the traditions and the situations um, that USC and, and Michigan being, you know, the schools that they are, uh, Building a rivalry, you can say the same thing probably about Ohio State because there's still quite a quite a rivalry between USC and Ohio State, USC and Michigan. It's been a pretty one sided rivalry in you know, basically the past most of, most of our lifetimes, right? Last fifty, if anyone's over fifty, I'm sorry, but you know, last 40, 50 years, it's really been one sided. I, I think USC six and one against, um, I think they're six and one against Michigan and eight and two against Ohio State since 1970 or something like that. Pretty close to it, if I'm not right. So it's been pretty one-sided so far. 
Um, you're catching uh, Ohio State and Michigan at, at a really strong period in their history right now. USC is a bit down. That might change a little bit. But I think both of those rivalries would be very intriguing going forward.